Welcome YouTubers to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In this video, we're going to work out 18 practice test questions involving factoring that should closely mirror what you should expect to see in the mathematics knowledge subtest of both the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB, as well as the pre-screening internet delivered computer adaptive test that is the PiCat. More specifically, you should expect to see two to five very similar questions from this topic on the actual ASVAB and PiCat. And as a quick reminder, you're not permitted to use a calculator or a reference sheet on the actual test. Likewise, in order to get the most from this video, you'll wanna pause the video after I read a practice test question, attempt to solve the practice test question on your own, and then resume playing the video to check your solution. Last but not least, I quickly want to mention this. Please stop paying for tutoring or access to online boot camps. Truth be told, the vast majority of you are more than capable of passing this test on your first try, as long as you spend a few days to a month studying for it. Likewise, if you use my free resources, notably my playlist to prepare for it, you'll be fine on test day. Again, on my YouTube channel, you'll see that I have playlists that cover all the core concepts that show up on the ASVAB. Likewise, I have a playlist called a Math Bootcamp Playlist, which has nothing more than 500 practice test questions that closely mirror what you should expect to see on this test. And finally, I have more than 500 shorts videos that will help you build up your mental math abilities before test day. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this video. This ASVAB PiCat Math Knowledge Practice Test question says factor x squared minus 2x minus 15. So the first thing I want to point out is that this is a quadratic that has a leading coefficient of 1 here. So if we can factor it, it's going to look like this, x times x in parentheses. Now we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 15 but add to negative 2. That's going to be minus 5 and plus 3. Negative 5 uh, times positive 3 is negative 15. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So this one is going to be answer choice C. Now, if you wanted to quickly check your work, you can multiply this out by foiling it. That is multiplying there and there and there and there. X times X is X squared. X times 3 is 3X. Negative 5 times X is negative 5X. Negative 5 times positive 3 is negative 15. This reduces to X squared minus 2x minus 15. For this ASVAB PiCat Math Knowledge Practice Test question, we're going to factor 2x squared plus xy minus 3y squared using what's called the AC method. A is 2, C is negative 3, A times C is negative 6, and B is 1. We're going to replace this B term with two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 1. That's going to be 3 and negative 2. So this becomes 2x squared minus 2xy plus 3xy uh, minus 3y squared. Now we can factor this by grouping. From these first two terms, we can factor out a 2x. That leaves us with x minus y in parentheses. From these next two terms, we can factor out a positive 3y. That leaves us with x minus y in parentheses. So our solution is going to be 2x plus 3y times x minus y, which is answer choice B. This ASVAB PiCat Math Knowledge Practice Test question says factor x squared minus 5x plus 6. Since this is a quadratic that has a leading coefficient of 1, if we can factor it, it's going to be of this form. Now we're just looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 6 and add to negative 5. It's going to be negative 2 and negative 3. Um, so this one is going to be D. That said, if we want to quickly check our work, we can multiply this out using the FOIL method. That is to say we're going to multiply this x here and here. We're going to take this negative 2 and multiply it here and here. x times x, of course, is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. This reduces to x squared minus 5x plus 6. And we can see that this does, in fact, match this original equation. So we are 100% confident D is correct. This ASVAB PiCat Math Knowledge Practice Test question says factor x squared minus 11xy plus 18y squared. So in this case, we have a quadratic with the leading coefficient of 1. So if we can factor it, it's going to be of this form, x times x. Now we have to identify two terms that multiply to 18y squared but add to negative 11xy. That's going to be negative 2y and negative 9y. And of course, let's multiply this out just to check our work x times x is x squared. 
x times negative 9y is negative 9xy. Negative 2y times x is going to be negative 2xy. And negative 2y times negative 9y is positive 18y squared. Let's simplify this. This is x squared uh, minus 11xy plus 18y squared, which does match this. So we know that D is correct. This ASVAB PiCat Math Knowledge Practice Test question says factor 6x to the 4th y to the 3rd minus 3x to the 3rd y to the 5th. So it should be pretty obvious that between 6 and 3, we can factor out a 3. Now for our x's, we're going to factor out uh, the highest power possible. We have x to the 4th and x to the 3rd. The highest power I can factor out is x to the 3rd. For the y's, we have y to the third and y to the fifth. The highest power I can factor out is y to the third. All right, to make 3, 6, we multiply by 2. To make x to the third, x to the fourth, we have to put an x there. Since y to the third is already there, we don't have to put anything. Of course, this is going to be minus. Uh, we already have a 3. We already have x to the third. To make y to the third, y to the fifth, this has to be y squared. All right, so that is the answer to this one, and clearly that is answer choice A in this case. For this ASVAB PiCat Math Knowledge Practice Test question, we're being asked to factor x squared minus 7xy plus 12y squared. So you should recognize that this is a quadratic with a leading coefficient of 1. Therefore, if we can factor it, it's going to be of the form x times x. Now we're looking for two terms that multiply to 12y squared and add to negative 7xy. That's going to be minus 3y minus 4y. Again, negative 3y times negative 4y is going to be positive 12y squared. So this is going to be answer choice D. If you wanted to confirm this middle part, just multiply this out. This becomes x squared minus 4xy minus 3xy uh, plus 12y squared. So this becomes x squared minus 7xy plus 12y squared, which is exactly what this original equation was. This ASVAB PiCat Math Knowledge Practice Test question, we're trying to factor 36x squared minus 49y squared. So for this one, it might be obvious that we're trying to factor the difference of two perfect squares. And if we are, our solution is going to be very simple. It's going to be a plus b times a minus b. So let's go ahead and rewrite 36x squared minus 49y squared to be the difference of two perfect squares. This would be 6x squared minus 7y squared. Now we could just write the solution as such. This becomes 6x plus 7y times 6x minus 7y. And of course, that is going to be answer choice A. This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says factor this. Uh, of course, you can use the answer choices to figure this one out. Otherwise, you have to use the AC method. A times C in this case is going to be 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. B is 1. There's a coefficient of 1 there. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to 1. That's going to be 3, negative 2. Uh, using those two numbers, we can rewrite this expression to be 2x squared minus 2xy plus 3xy minus 3y squared. Now we can factor this one via grouping. We're going to factor out a 2x here. This comes x minus y in parentheses. Here we're going to factor out a 3y. This becomes x minus y in parentheses. Combine the, these, this becomes 2x plus 3y times x minus y. This is answer choice uh, B, of course. This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB of PiCat says this. If x plus a times x plus b equals x squared plus 7x plus 12, what is the value of a plus b? So the easiest way to solve this one is to go ahead and factor x squared plus 7x plus 12. That should be fairly easy to do. It's going to look like this. Um, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 12 and add to 7. That's going to be plus 3 plus 4. Again, 4 times 3 is 12. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we know this is our A. This is going to be our B. This becomes 3 plus 4, which is 7. So the correct answer to this one is A, 7. 
This ASVAB Pocket Math Knowledge Practice Test question says factor 4x squared plus xy minus 5y squared. So to factor this, we're going to use the AC method. We're going to take A, multiply it by C, which is negative 20, identify B, which is positive 1. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 20 but add to positive 1. That's going to be positive 5, negative 4. Now we're going to rewrite this expression uh, with 5 and negative 4 in the middle term. So this becomes negative 4xy plus 5xy minus 5y squared. Now this enables us to factor by grouping. From these first two terms, we can factor out a 4x. This becomes x minus y in parentheses. From these next two terms, we can factor out a 5y. This becomes x minus y in parentheses. Now our solution looks like this. 4x plus 5y. That is, I combine those two times x minus y, which is answer choice A, of course. Solve this ASVAB math knowledge practice test question in 60 seconds. It says this, what are the factors of x squared plus 4x plus 3? So right away, you should recognize that this is a quadratic trinomial. Specifically, it's a quadratic trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1. Therefore, you should know that if we can factor this, it's going to look like this. Now, our only task here is to find two numbers that multiply to positive 3 and add to positive 4. That should be easy enough to do. Uh, plus 1 and plus 3 should work. And as much as 1 times 3 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4. So the answer to this one is A, x plus 1, x plus 3. If you need help with factoring, check out my channel. Konnichiwa.